Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. What's going on? You read the title. You saw the thumbnail. Let's get right into it. So, you got Aphex Twin Sample Brain on your computer. You're gonna wanna open that up, all right? So, let's take a look at this bad boy. It's real fun, and it does a whole bunch of cool stuff, but we gotta give it something to work with, right? So, we gotta load up the brain, and what the brain is, is a collection of samples and it's gonna chop them all up and analyze them in its bits and pieces here and decide uh that you know this is a cool brain for me and this is the information i got in my brain right these are the samples i got in my brain and then we're gonna load up a target over here which is like a sound for the brain to think about it's gonna hear it and it's gonna be like i've got these other sounds on my brain let me try to reconstruct it, okay? So let's just load a directory, right? You could load an individual sound or you could load a whole bunch of sounds, right? And uh, boop, we're gonna load a directory here. So I've got a few set up to kind of work just well. So we've got a directory in there. We're gonna hit regenerate brain. Mm -hmm. And then right down here, this is gonna be where it tells you all your good stuff. When it says done and it gives you some good numbers, that's just amazing, right? That's what we like. So load target. So now we're gonna load some targets here, right? And uh, I've got some pretty awful sounds up in here, but we're just gonna take this kind of nice little break here and it's gonna load it. And then we're gonna tell it to regenerate. Bop. Okay, so now that we've made a brain, we've loaded a target, we can press play, see what happens. Ooh, some weird sounds, right? So now let's take a look at what's going on here, okay? So we've got the mix down here. We can go to our target, right? This is the sample I loaded. It's a nice little breaky thing. It's all like cut up and choppy. You could say it's a little bit dodgy even, right? And this is the brain. This is what the brain's coming up with. We can turn it up a little bit here with the normalization. Maybe. Yeah. All right. And, uh, you know, kind of sounds a little funky. So let's tweak our brain, right? Let's get a little, little bit of brain tweakage going on here. So I'm going to start at kind of the bottom and work our way up. The synaptic slide error is exactly what it sounds like. The number of synapses... We're going to increase that, right? We're going to put it at about 900, and then we're going to turn our algorithm on Snap. This is uh, this is how the algorithm works, and, you know, it's fun. It's cool, right? Um, search stretch is going to kind of time stretch your samples a little bit. We, we're not going to we're not going to do too much of that. Stickiness is really fun here, though, because as you increase it, it kind of lingers on a sample for longer, right? Let's listen. All right, boredom works with novelty. Novelty is going to choose more interesting and different samples every time you do something, every time it needs to select a sample block, right? Okay, cool. And boredom is going to decide how fast that that wears off. So if we set something like this, set something like this, maybe just 97. And then up here is how it decides what samples to choose, right? So we can, you know, kind of choose frequency only or frequency and dynamics. And then we can choose between two different sort of analyzation modes. I find that this works best on one side or the other, and I find that most of these settings work near their extremes, but not exactly on their extremes, right? So now we've got this weird shit going on, right? And sample brain is working for us. We can, you know, fade back over here. We can hit stereo mode, which is gonna choose different samples for each stereo field. Incredibly fun, super dope, right? Um, but we're gonna leave that off for right now. And, um, you know, auto-tune is gonna tune the samples kind of badly. So that's sample brain. And if all you needed to get going with this thing, just, you know, maybe a little bit of a nudge and a little bit of a point in the right direction, and there you go. 
get get going go have some fun get go to town right uh if you want to know a little bit more about what i found out about this thing um and take a little bit more of an in-depth look well uh keep watching and let's let's go so right off the bat uh i'm gonna say that this software is you know it's it's diy it's home rolled so it is very prone to crashes, um, misbehaving, and um, sort of, I would just say, general unpredictability. Uh, it can be really fun and it can be really cool, uh, but it can also be really annoying. Um, so if you feel like it's not working, uh, it's, it's probably just cool to just shut it down, right? So we're probably going to see this almost immediately. So continuing where we left off on that last example here, we're gonna take a closer look at our brain and everything right here. So block size, this is kind of the size of the block that it chops up. I found that smaller block sizes are kind of cooler here, right? So let's, let's maybe set this to 1500. Block overlap is uh, kind of how much it's gonna allow the chopped blocks to like overlap how much you know sometimes this is helpful but i i found it kind of just complicates things right uh and then you've got window shape here and a whole bunch of interesting different windows and these are all kind of just um how it's going to cut things up uh different equations for how the sample is going to be sliced you know you see bartlett and blackman if you don't believe me here look check it out look see i've, I've done research here's there's research, there's windows, okay, check it, see, it's cool stuff, right? <sighs> All right, anyways, I found that rectangular works really well. Some of these work better than others. Uh, we're gonna hit regenerate again here, and you'll see if it works quickly like that, it's working well, um, and that's, that's good, we want that. Uh, so now let's just hit play and see what happens. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna change these settings as well. We're gonna set these to fifteen hundred, and also put this to rectangular. And you'll see immediately it cleaned that up a lot. Okay, so this is this is pretty much the sample I put in there, right? And so now let's see what our brain is kind of coming up with. I'm gonna turn off this auto tune. And it's a much cleaner sort of little brain chaos here. We're sticking this up. I'm gonna go frequency and dynamics all the way over to this side. All right, cool. So that is a little bit more of a dialed in type of... Turn the boredom down and the novelty up a little bit more. All right, okay, so now that's pretty cool here and we can hit stop and then we could hit record and it's gonna say uh, select where you want it and we're gonna say uh, on the desktop here. And we're gonna hit save. And it's gonna go. We could hit record again. And it's gonna give us that portion that we just heard, right? Alright, so cool. So right now sample brain is working incredibly well for us. It's behaving. It's acting very nicely. Uh too nicely, in fact. So let's try to make it not work so nicely here. Um so let's load up a directory. Okay, so let's grab a target here um, mm, 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 from this target folder. Okay, so what if it was this? So this right here, which is a nice Linkin Park. All right, okay, yeah, so that'll work nicely. Um, Actually, I don't think it'll work nicely. I, th I think it'll break this program. <laughs> um, so we're gonna hit regenerate blocks, and it didn't. It didn't do anything very quickly there for me. See, okay. See, when you load a new sample in there and nothing happens, 
and every time you hit regenerate blocks like this and nothing happens, that means she's broke, lads. Lads, lasses, it's broke. Okay, so let's close her down. And we're gonna try again. Because you know what? We never we never give up. Didn't work. See? Broken. Alright, let's try it one more time. Oh shit. Look at it build those snapses. Oh. It loaded. Oh, cool. it's processing. All right, let's see what happens. So she's working for us right now, right? So now that she's working for us, we know she's got a brain in there that she likes, right? So now we can, we can load it up. We can process it a little bit more. We can make it even more evil and break, breakerific, right? So it's gonna build these synapses. It's gonna do it a little bit slower. Okay, oh shit, all right, it's, it's working. All right, we're gonna regenerate. Oh, Lord. We've done it, we've, we've done it. And there it is. I mean, we've made this like endless break beat break breaking from this sound, which is our broken target. Let's load our target again. Let's see if it'll work. She seems rather broken. Yeah, see, it's broken as heck, but the brain is out of control. Well, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this fun little look at Aphex Twin Sample Brain. It was designed by Dave Griffith and uh, Richard D. James, as far as we can tell, allegedly, as far as anybody knows. Um, it's a lot of fun though, for uh, almost anything. You should, you should just go play around with this and uh, check it out. And uh, if you learn something, you should maybe, you know, Throw a uh, like uh, towards the you know video if you could, or you should you know I don't know. Join the Discord, tell somebody else about it, share this up. Listen to these fucking Bajonko breaks going off. I mean, just fucking I don't know. Do whatever the hell you want to do. I hope you liked it. Bye. <laughs>